Hi, thanks for uh, giving us a look here. Uh, what I want to show today is a sling that I've uh, made. It's, it's similar to other uh, slings. Uh, I think Victor Vickers makes a sling, Viking does as well. Mine's pretty much the same. Uh, what I do is I use a little bit thicker webbing over the uh, shoulder and it resists twisting. Uh, I go from an inch to an inch and a half, or that's what I have in this particular one. There's another example that actually has an inch and a half all the way to the uh, sling swivel. Uh, this, this one has a D-ring on a custom-made butt harness. The, uh, the D-ring is actually uh, made out of uh, stainless steel. It's welded and it's been, uh, it's been sewn in place on the uh, on the nylon webbing and it's velcroed in, in place. It's uh, quite quite sturdy. Uh, onto that I have a Heckler & Koch style hook that uh, is sewn onto the uh, onto the webbing. Actually it's it's not it's it's held in place with a couple of plastic sliders. I use two of them, just like uh, some of the other better slings out there. They'll actually use two of them just to make sure that there's not going to be any movement on, on this end of the sling or on the front end of the sling. On this particular example, I have a quick disconnect buckle on the front. I don't, I don't really trust them yet. I've uh, tested it for two weeks so far and for two weeks it's absolutely been flawless. Just in case I have a piece of paracord around there to make sure that if it does come loose when I'm manipulating the uh, gun and doing some drills and things like that, that uh, if it should actually come undone accidentally or if it should break, then the paracord should actually prevent my gun from piling into the ground. Um, so here we go. Uh, with this type of uh, sling you can put it on by putting your hand on the inside of the sling like this and just putting it over your your head basically and it will automatically come down underneath your your arm and that's pretty much how you want it if you're going to wear it like like this you could actually employ it if you want to actually hold it in place it's very very easy to hold your firearm in place there there's not really a whole lot of weight on there. I could in fact tighten it and, and you know, I could, I still have to hold it a little bit, but it's, it's very, very easy to hold it in, in, in place and to, uh, to make, to make the uh, sling go loose. Here we have a, a piece of uh, paracord. I just pull on the, uh, on the metal buckle here and it comes undone. And is it, is it good in, in place? Does it move? No, not unless I want it to. And uh, here I have a paracord um, loop on the, uh, on the tether and I can make it uh, tight as I want or as loose as I want. In this particular one, I made it a little bit on the small side. I'm not a terribly big guy or anything and it works for me. But I think if I was making this for somebody else, I would actually allow a little bit more material. So it gives you a little bit more for options. Uh, so when you're holding it like this, it actually does help you return to target after your first shot. And I've also helped uh, mitigate recoil with with uh, this. I haven't really done it. I guess the the sling well, it just it just works. It helps to uh, keep the uh, the muzzle down and return to uh, target uh, a little bit quicker. I've I've found. The other thing that I really like about slings like this, I don't think that with the camera angle I'm going to be able to truly be able to show it so that you can see the full benefit of this. But you can take the gun off of your shoulder like this, take your hand through, and then with the same supporting hand that you have, reach through, grab the buttstock, and fling it. Not fling it, but put it over your shoulder like this and it's over your back. It works really well like this. You could actually still tighten it up 
or loosen it. What it allows you to do is have both hands free. You can do anything you want. Um, you can bend down, do up your shoes. Uh, you can do a multitude of uh, different tasks. Pick up different different items. If you carry them around, not a problem. Uh, the thing doesn't move. Uh, I've even resorted to doing jumping jacks. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, and just to test out the uh, sling. And uh, I didn't trust the, uh, the strap on here, like I was saying, the uh, quick disconnect buckle. But to be honest with you, there's, there's been zero issues with that at all. All of the materials that I use is uh, heavy duty gauge uh, nylon webbing. And I have uh, received some polypropylene. I'm assured that it's it's going to be more than up to the task for the uh, use. That being said, I, I think that uh, if if I was going to use polypropylene for anything, that it'd be the shoulder piece here, this piece here, and uh, once again, if if I has pro polypropylene webbing on there, I'm going to tell you. Uh, and if it's nylon, then that's that's what I would ultimately want to go with. It's just a little bit stronger. It's uh, to tell you the truth, it's it's overkill. There's no way you're going to be putting a thousand pounds of pressure on this thing, and that's what it's rated for. Uh, it's it's over a millimeter uh, thick. It's, I, I think this this particular one is 1.7 millimeters. Uh, it's a little bit on the thick side. Once again, it's uh, inch and a half. I have an adapter that takes it from an inch and a half down to an inch. This is also nylon webbing. This is for sure going to be nylon here. And it goes on to forged steel, American uh, made, uh, American mill spec in fact. Um, Heckler and Cox style um, hooks. Uh, I get these from a, a Canadian sourced uh, location. It's in uh, Ontario and uh, I think I'm going to be getting more of them. Uh, I'm really really pleased with this product. Uh, I haven't bent one yet uh, and I've, I've put this thing through the, uh, the ringer a few times uh, just going over going a little bit uh, through through the drills like I was saying and just seeing it through regular use, it'd be one of those things that would actually make it fail. And so far, not a thing. When, when using this, I don't know if you can see, but right, right now the barrel is down. In order to flick it to the uh, you know, back out in front and put it into use from being on your back, I like to uh, twist it so that the barrel's up. It just seems to come more readily at hand when uh, when doing that. Anyway, I hope uh, I hope this uh, helps out anybody that uh, doesn't know the benefits of uh, using an adjustable two point sling. Uh, I I really like them, and uh, recently I started to make them. So uh, I hope that was helpful, guys. Thanks a lot.